I'm here with Dr. Maha Devan, who is an ER physician at Stanford. And, and, and what, are, what are we looking here? Looking at here? Well, what we're going to do is look at some radiographs of the cervical spine or of your neck uh, mm -hmm. and try to determine whether they're adequate or not. And, and adi what, what does it mean to be adequate? When you have an adequate view, you can see from the first vertebra all the way down to the, the junction of the seventh cervical vertebra and the first thoracic vertebra. I see. And, and we, we call it adequate because it means it's adequate to make a diagnosis. It's, exactly. You, you want to be able to see the entire cervical spine so you can make sure that there's not an injury there. Cool, cool. And so what are, what are we looking at over here? What, what are we directly staring uh, at? So what we're looking at is uh, the lateral, which shows essentially part of the cervical spine. It shows cervical vertebra 1 through 5. I see. So this is, just to make myself clear, orient, so th these are both lateral x-rays. When we say lateral, it was the x-ray from the side exactly. of, of the person. And uh, this shows how well I know my anatomy. This this person on this actually, they're facing this way. Uh, they're actually facing oh, the other see, way. See, look at that. Oh, I can see. There's a little jaw. Okay, no, I was just I was just testing you. Good, good job. All right. So the person is facing that way. That this way, this way is the front. And you were just showing. You were tell. You were kind of counting the different um, the the different bones. Exactly. There, and you were saying this is one. That's one. Two. Two. Three. Uh huh. Four. Uh huh. Five. And that's why you you hear people sometimes with back injuries saying, yeah, I have a problem in, uh, what, what do they call it? In like this. L5, L, L5, right. That's, yeah, that's what exactly. they're talking about like exactly. that. Okay, so sorry. And uh, and actually, we count even uh, further forward from there, um, and we look exactly at those things that look kind of look like squares. Uh, those are the actual vertebra, exactly, right there. This. this. Exactly. And uh, although we're interested in the entire spine, when we count, we kind of go down. And as you can see, if you look at the fifth square there, right. Below that, um, it's really hard to see the squares of six and seven. Right, we can't see anything below that, and it looks like what is this person's shoulder is blocking it. Exactly, you can see that that big white thing there is the shoulder that's gotten in the way, and it's making it hard to see. They shouldn't have worn those lead shoulder pads. <laughs> no, no, sorry. <laughs> and and it's making it hard to see whether there's something going on down there right now. So it's really a mystery, as you've shown. So how do you how do you uh, solve it? How do you solve this problem? Uh, if you look over at the other film, it's what we call a swimmer's view. And and what we've asked the patient to do is raise one arm up and lower the other. And in doing so, you kind of clear that lower cervical spine and allow better visualization of the entire spine. I see. And you're taking it from the direction of the raised arm uh, uh, on you, the side of the you raised take it, arm. You take it from the side and you can see. This is the raised arm right over here. Exactly. I That's the raised that. arm. Exactly. And, it gets and, the show, and the other arm on the further side of the patient is down. And that's what allows us to get, I guess, get the shoulder in a position so it doesn't block like it does in this left. Exactly. This left exactly. Here. I see. And over here, and over here, it is much clearer that this person is also facing in this direction. <laughs> 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 and and okay, so let me see if so we can count. This is this is number one right up here. That's one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And yeah, look, we already got to six. We didn't see six over here. And then we got seven. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And so you would call this an adequate view for what we're trying the, of the neck because now we can look at all the way through seven. Absolutely. We can get all the way down to seven. And, and ideally, you want to see the top of one, which comes actually in this counting system. We go one through seven. And then we start back at one again because we're starting with the thoracic vertebra. So oh, number look at one. That. It's like, yeah, it's like when those streets where they restart numbering. You can't <laughs> find out. All right. So it becomes one again. Exactly. And, and is that, did I number that right? You did, and and again, we're looking more to the front. You're you've got your numbers perfectly oh. on every spinous process. The little bump that you can feel if you press on yes. the back of your neck, right? Um, but what we're really interested in is the, the alignment of the front of the vertebral oh, okay. bodies. So this is one. This is two, th three, four, five, six, seven. You want to look at the top of one. Where's the top of one? Uh, if you if you just continue down right there, there, and it's sometimes see. it's difficult to see, yeah. but exactly you want to see that there's an alignment right in front of okay. Uh, the I'll vertebra right there's there. There's something here that I can't really see. Exactly. But you're an expert, so maybe you see things I don't. <laughs> All right. All right. So okay. So now now what do we do with this? Now. Uh, so uh, we've shown you that you can get a swimmer's view and it can show you all the way down to C7, T1. But on the original view, as you've shown, there, we can't see that. So what we did for this patient was get a swimmer's view. I see. And so this is adequate. Now we have this other, we have this other slide right over here, 
we have this other one right over here. And why is why is this one interesting? Uh, this is the same patient, and now we've done, we've taken that same view that we talked about before, the swimmer's view, where you've this got is the same patient as th this patient right exactly. over here, not not this patient over here on the exactly. right. That, exactly, exactly. That, that one looked overall pretty healthy. That was a, that okay. was a normal swimmer's view, so, but here is an abnormal swimmer's view, so and again, the same person, same person as, as this one, not the not the other swimmer, facing view. in the same direction. In case right. you want to test me again. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. Good. And if you count again, starting with the first okay. vertebra, so we go one, two, this is three right here? Three's this one right here? Three, oh, it's a kind of a, oh, I see, it's a kind of a, this, this whole thing is three? That whole thing is okay. three right there, three, exactly. Three, four, five, six, and then seven, it looks like right around there, if I'm reading that, if I see that absolutely, properly, it's a little darker absolutely. there. And the key important finding there is that as you draw a line along the anterior or the front of all those vertebral bodies, if you were to connect them, right, Let me just see like if I that. Can, if I can, I'll draw a dotted line. Okay, fantastic. So it looks, looks pretty. All right. And as you go then, down, oh look at that! A seven looks like a a little disruption there. Exactly, and and it, and it's pushed back and the problem is right behind those bones is your spinal cord. Wow. And so any kind of injury like this potentially could injure your spinal cord and lead to permanent paralysis or I weakness. See. So this is the main thing. I guess there's there's two big takeaways at least from this this little short segment that we've said is that one is you got to make sure that you have the information to make a diagnosis on uh, so for example this right over here you couldn't even do something useful because you're not able to see the number 6 and number 7. Exactly. That's we would call it inadequate and we would say we can't draw any firm conclusions from that. And that's why you want them to get in that swimmer's position, raise the arm from the direction that you're looking at. Correct. And and they'll lower the other arm. And then you can see something like this, and this would this right over here is cause for trouble because now you can go all the way down to seven, and you can actually see that they're not aligned. Absolutely, and so this is someone you wouldn't let get out of your emergency department without seeing a specialist, a spine specialist. Whereas if you didn't have that view, you might be falsely reassured that everything was okay when in fact there's a serious problem there. Wow, very cool, very cool. Th thanks a bunch. Thank you.